Our next match, I really like this one. Oh, yeah, one. I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. Yep, uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and Clark Connors for the— Clark Connors looks really strong. Oh, yeah, <laughs> ironically. Uh, for the NJPW World Television right. Champion. I still hate the look of the belt. It is super awkward. But but what a person to put it on and what a person to face off against. Yep. It uh, was a very good showcase for Clark Connors because he is one of their big stars. He's one of their original stars, too, when the promotion started. Yeah, and so, he, was, he was an L.A. Dojo yeah, graduate. He was. Yep, so, he was an L.A. Dojo graduate. So, really, they're putting him in a good spot where he might be a great representation for this brand new prom It's essentially a brand new promotion. It is. Like, Strong is so away from regular New Japan right. that it's almost weird that they are associated with each other in right. some way, shape, or form. Right. You know, but this match was good. It was very technically wise. Yeah. Um, I really liked the back and forth because Clark Connors really kept up with Z uh, Zack Sabre Jr. Right, which is hard to do. Oh, yeah. And because it was a title match, there was 30 minutes, and they were really playing it 15, into— It was a 15-minute Oh, was it a 15? Oh, it okay. Was, yeah. So they played into that 15-minute clock where yeah. it literally went down to the final couple of seconds. It was like right. less than a minute. Yeah. For uh, Zack Saber Jr. to um, hit him with a disarm her yep. and got him to tap out, yep. so it was great that that rush was very needed. Yep, and it really played with yes. it well. So Zack Saber Jr. is still there. It was, a, it was a refreshing thing because you know that the main events were going to be a little bit longer. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, let's go.